All right, everybody. So I'm just making this video to help you uh, remember everything that's happened in Speak so far. Because I posted the pages 0 to 30, but I'm doubting that a lot of you reread it. So before you get to page 30, um, which starts with the opposite of inspiration is expiration, um, I'm just going to review quickly what happened in pages 0 through 30. So Speak, Lori Hell Sanderson, is an amazing book. Um, a lot of people reference it in the real world. It was written in 1999, so about 20 years ago. Still very relevant. We've got this chick named Melinda. Um, she goes to Meriwether High School. Um, Mom works downtown. I believe she's a store manager. And Dad does not talk to her much. Um, so Melinda is new to town. She's a new chick at school. Um, not actually a new chick because her friends have all ditched her. So her friends, clearly something happened. They're all very angry at her, um, except for this new chick, um, Heather. So Heather's this new girl. I think she's from Ohio, um, who wants to be very engaged in school and do all the clubs just like you will next year in high school. Um, so Heather and Melinda are getting along. And Melinda's ex-best friend, Rachel, or Rochelle, um, is smoking candy cigarettes in the bathroom with the foreign exchange students. Um, I think this is all coming back to you. Melinda gets lunch thrown at her. She's behind this big basketball guy. She gets a potato right at her face, hits her in the chest. Um, her English teacher has no face. Remember, she has all the hair hanging down across her face. Um, history teacher she calls Mr. Neck, who is like a drill sergeant, and she doesn't like him very much. However, she loves her art teacher, Mr. Freeman, and she gets a project that she has to make the entire year, um, and she picks the word tree out of the globe. So she has to work on the tree the whole year and make it out of paper mache, draw it, do whatever she has to do. Um, I'm looking at my notes because I had a lot. She also is having some issues because she hates her classes and she's being bullied. Remember, she got thrown down the bleachers at the pep rally. Um, so my chick Melinda also finds a closet, a literal closet, to make a home at school. So she steals the pad of late passes off the desk and uh, off her teacher's desk. And she just is going to write herself late passes to class and stick around in her closet, which you should not do because then in high school. So again, she gets pushed down the flight of stairs. That's where we ended. And this chick is so angry at her because they were at a party over the summer and her brother got arrested because Melinda called the cops. But nobody knows why we called the cops. So I'm on page 30. If you would like to read this solo, you can absolutely do that. Um, I'm also going to post an audiobook because I know that you miss my voice and you miss my face. And sometimes it's easier to read along with an audiobook. But I wanted to post this video just to remind you of what's happened so far. Miss you a lot. Tell your family I said hello. Bye.